Hello ladies and gentlemen, you are welcome to On My Honor. My name is Asari and today I'm going to be chatting with talented and beautiful Dayo Amusa. I hope she's ready because she is on the hot seat and we're going to be asking her some questions we didn't know about the actress. Well, stay tuned. On My Honor, we'll be right back. We have lovely Dayo Amusa. How are you, madam? I'm fine, thank you. It's good to have you on the show. Thanks for having me. Well, it's my pleasure. I've heard so much about you on the blogs and the news, but I'm yet to find out if you are really what the blogs and the newspapers <laughs> portray you to be. All right. So, On My Honor is a show where we're going to be asking you some questions. They might be deep. They might be some questions you really wouldn't answer on a regular, but you have to today because you are on the hot seat. No. Okay, let's see how far it goes. Okay, so we have a little oath we take to our guest on the show. You have to put your right hand up and say, I promise to tell the truth. And nothing but the truth. Exactly. <laughs> okay, I promise to tell the truth mm -hmm. and nothing but the truth. On my honor. On my honor. Great stuff. <laughs> All right, Daya, let's jump right into it. Okay. Tell me about your first kiss. I can't remember, seriously. <laughs> you remember yes, seriously. Kiss? I really uh -uh. can't remember. Well, you know, first kisses, especially for young girls, we always mm. have butterflies in our stomach. And we're like, we go home and be reminiscing about it. And I think I didn't have it with um, someone I had feelings for. Oh, okay. So maybe that actually didn't give me. Okay, I can see that. And um, when was the last time you had sex? Wow. <laughs> you have to tell us the truth, okay? Oh, on my honor. Exactly. Last week. Hmm. All right. And was it up to your expectations? Oh, Definitely. trust me. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us the most embarrassing thing that has happened to you. Yes, there was this day I was driving along um, Maryland Road before the traffic light. Mm -hmm. And then I was in the car. And there is this woman right beside me. She actually rolled down and she was like hello hi blah 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 and i did the same thing hi madam blah blah and, you know we exchanged greetings and then she was like please can i have your number i would like to you know and i'm like i'm sorry mom <laughs> the next thing she was just like kenny kenny <laughs> come on and then she just went on and on and then she was just insulting me i was like say ah just then the lights just came on green and i'm like oh thank god mm -hmm. Sorry, madam, <laughs> you know, and um, I really felt embarrassed because the way she went about it, I'm like, I don't know. Okay, what do you have the most attachment to? A physical thing? Physical material thing. thing? Material things. Shoes. Shoes. How many pairs of shoes do you have? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Maybe hundreds. Oh, wow. Hundred pairs of shoes. And I'm sure you've not worn one thing in like five years. No. No, yeah. no, 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 not, not like that. Have you farted in public and blamed it on someone else? I have, oh. <laughs> Maybe a couple of times. <laughs> when was the last time you got so angry and you lost your cool? And t tell us what happened. Yesterday. Hmm. It was my PA, actually. She was meant to, you know, be with me, like, uh, two days ago. She was just giving me different films, say excuses, all for her to come yesterday evening and then telling me this morning she wants to go and make her hair again. <laughs> I was really pissed like, then why did you come home? I think you should just leave right now and, you know. Do you, do you, do you feel bad after you get explosive Then you think about, oh, I shouldn't have said that, I shouldn't have reacted that Sometimes. Way. Sometimes. And how do you go about it? Do you apologize to the I person? I go straight to apologize, okay, yes. that's nice. I can see how Maybe you indirectly, mm -hmm. but then I will try as much as possible to so make up. That's good. We're giving... $30,000 to slap somebody in the industry, who would you pick to slap? A dirty slap that will confuse the person's brain. Faith Abalogo, I will slap her real hard. <laughs> Why do you want to slap her? Because I know when I tell her sis, you know what, don't worry, take $10,000, <laughs> she will just be like, Abro, you, you, you shouldn't have done that to your sister. Don't worry, don't mind me, don't mind me. What has been the most insane thing you've done while drunk? I'm sure you've had drunken nights before. While drunk? I wouldn't have known if I was really drunk. <laughs> True. I wouldn't have known. But your friends would tell you, can you imagine you did this yesterday? Ah. Uh. <sighs> I can't recall. <laughs> sure I can't recall. Can, just saying, hmm, no, I'm trying to, I'm trying to, no, no, seriously. Do I'm not really an awkward person okay. like that, like that, but then, I can't recall. Okay. I can't recall. I can't recall any. All right. When was the last time you cried? And tell us what you cried about. Mm. I guess that was, like, last week, okay. really. And then, why did I cry? No, it's personal. I was expecting someone and then he didn't get to show up and I just 
felt bitter mm. about it. I'm sure most girls, I would feel bitter as well because <laughs> why are you standing me up? I'm not finding enough for you to come and meet me. But you know, anyway, yeah. that's a good enough reason to cry. But um, let me see. Tell me your weakest point. My weakest point is that um, I think I have this very soft spot that um, uh, I don't know. I'm a very weak person. Mm. Mm. Thanks. So it's a big soft and people tend to take advantage exactly. of that. Yeah. Exactly. Well, you should raise your guards up a little bit. Then the right person you should show them your soft side. Oh, well, you never can tell now. You know how it is. Yeah. But for me, I just like to be natural. Okay, so. And then I take people for who yeah. they are and I expected to be taken for who yeah. I am. Okay. <laughs> hmm. What is do you have a fetish? I don't understand what you mean by that. A fetish could be you like to play dress up for your man. You like to uh, just do kinky stuff. Do mm. you have any do you have any fetish? Mm. Mm. Like couple of like tongue twister. Mm, couple couple. Okay, uh, tell, tell me tell me one. Mm, just don't one don't let me keep uh, you one. you're really <laughs> dipping in oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like I said, I can be very, very playful. Okay. You know, I can go on and on, standing all day and then just dancing. Okay. And then go train some crazy naughty stuff. Oh, nice. I can't wait. Well, I can't oh, see that, but... You can, uh, I can't, but maybe sometime <laughs> we'll do behind the scenes, you know. Try mm, to we'll maybe cover on, the whole day. Maybe movie location. Exactly. Well, cover my whole day. Mm -hmm. You I'll don't... some personal. You don't get understand. to see you behind the scenes <laughs> and everything. That would be fun. All right, ma'am, tell me, how would you react if you found out your significant other was cheating on you? My significant other, your boyfriend or your husband, whatever. <sighs> how would I react? Well, I, I wouldn't know because it depends on the situation. It depends on who is involved mm -hmm. and um, how I feel about the guy. Okay. Can you cheat on your man? And can what, I? And what warrants you going, looking outside? I can if I, if I really want to be blunt. Mm -hmm. I can. And, um, or I could. <laughs> yeah, I could. Let me, because if I'm going to be like, I'm not going to be, I, I can never cheat on my man. You know, you never can tell what, so I could. Okay. And why would you, what would make you want to go outside? That I wouldn't know. Could you know, you humans you need, just, yeah. it might not be material things. Thank it you. might be something else. Yeah, emotional. Maybe. Mm -hmm. You know, so I, I, I really can't say. Okay. But anyways, ma'am, I'd like to say something to Tribe TV, your fans that are watching. And like getting to know you a little bit more. Okay, hi everyone. My name is Temi Dayo Amosa. I'm an actor and a singer, and I'm keep watching Tribe TV. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for hanging out with me here on Tribe TV on my honor. Today we dug deep into Dayo Amusa's private life. But anyways, thanks for hanging out with me, like I said before, and don't forget to keep up with us on our social media platforms. www.tribe.tv is our website. Don't forget to keep up with us on our Twitter and our Instagram handles, which are at Tribes TV. My name is Asari, and see you next time on On My Honor. <laughs>